Gung Hei Fat Choi. Uh, happy uh, Robbie Burns, 250 years. It's going to be a good time tonight with the old haggis. Uh, yeah, what else? Anyways, it's uh, soon to be the year of the ox. I'm an ox. My son's an ox. It's going to be a better year it is. These don't come around very friggin' often. So, I am doing a little artsy, crafty type project here just because I'm kind of bored and I wanted to do it. So I'm making dragonflies. I'm going to do a dragonfly mobile. Take it back to the 60s with mobiles. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, and then I'm, I'm giving you kind of an update-ish type thing as to uh, my vids, uh, my other YouTube channel, which I, uh, kind of a, a project I've been working on for a while here. I'm going to separate my videos up a little bit. I'm going to try doing some more playlists. Uh, I don't really want to delete any of my older videos because I still get comments on them. People still look at them. So, I mean, I'll leave all those up there. I will probably try to read do some of them, like my trees, you know, and what else, there's, but there's some other ones, you know, I'll do some videos just pertaining to certain topics, you know, like walls, you know, and various methods of doing walls, and so, anyways, that, that's my intentions, and that, part of it, of course, is, you know, just, well, costs, costs involved in, you know, the time it takes to do some of these things, and then, you know, the cost of the website, and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And this camera seems to be working okay for now. I can't take it anywhere out from plug-in, because I don't have batteries for it anymore, eh? And face it, a battery pack for this thing will probably cost me about the same as in one of the new you know, cameras, so I'll do that. So, uh, yeah, I say that lots. I don't edit these. I mean, I could go through it. Well, I put it back. I'll, I'll probably cut some of this stuff out. I don't know. But, anyways. I will... Okay. Got my shit together, kind of. An update as to projects. It will depend on whether or not I can recapture some of the costs involved in doing it. Yes. Because I'd like to show different terrain type thingies and pieces and all that kind of stuff, but oh man, you know, I'm going to have to start making some money at it again, so I'm probably going to be taking a few commissional type things, but post shipping is expensive, okay? Shipping is expensive, so if you're thinking like, oh man, it'd be nice to have a whole table type thing done, uh, yeah, well, okay, the postage alone, the shipping alone is going to be about $200, $300 for a big thingy like that, you know, so, you know, I mean, something small, so even something small is Friggin', you know, $20, $30 for postage, eh? And there's not much I can do about that. It's not like I'm making any money on the postage. In fact, you're getting my little 5% discount that I get. And that's 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 the only break we get up here is you get 5% off. And then they claw that back with what they call now a fuel surcharge. Even though gasoline prices are back down to where they used to be, they've still got these friggin' fuel charges. And they raise their rates every year. And, yeah. So anyways, that's why. So that's, I'm going to probably concentrate a little bit more on actually doing some of this stuff. So I don't know if I will have the camera on at all times. You know what I mean? Unless somebody wants to sponsor me to just show their products, type thing, ideas, and making stuff, and incorporate their products into it, or give a plug for them, you know. The Kamloopian Hobby Time Game Train Miniature Diorama Making, brought to you by Swanson's Butter, or some freaking thing. I don't I don't care who. Just be nice to be able to, uh, you know, 
take home, you know, five bucks an hour or something like that for doing this. Something cheap. But, you know, enough that a guy could carry on doing this. Pretty low overhead. You know, things don't cost much. Uh, some of this is just rambling. What else, update wise? Contest involving gaming train and stuff like that. I haven't figured that out yet. I haven't figured that out yet. Anyways, it's going to be a build build something. Okay? Yes. I build something. And you have to use you have to use stuff that everybody pretty much has access to. You know? Like it's it's got to be somewhat accessible type stuff. So that doesn't mean using, you know, a, a company's pre-made little, you know, mold thingies like, you know, purse mold type stuff like that. I mean, you could use, you know, wedding cake decorations for the, you know, the columns or something rather than either that or you have to show how you cast them yourself. And it, it has to be cast out of something that's easy to cast, like, you know, that people have, you know, take a cardboard tube and so, like, here's an idea for for columns, okay? Toilet paper rolls. We've all got toilet paper rolls, okay? So you can make nice hexagonal. Can you see that hexagonal columns? And once they're painted up, you know, they'll look okay. These diagonal lines. Well, you either have to incorporate those into your design or coat this all with something else, eh? So you can fold them up. You can fold them up different ways, so, you know, you've got different types, you know, of columns. And then incorporate those in your thing, because then everybody has access to these, okay? You know what I mean? So, that's that's one of the, the stipulations, is you can't use stuff that the average kid or person just can't get, okay? Uh... Be that or, you know, if it's something strange, like uh, these, you have to tell where you can get a few of them. So like for these dragonflies, okay, I'm using those for the wings. Basically, I'm taking taking one and I'm splitting it. I will split one for you, I'll show you what I mean. My these are those... Well, up here we call them Dicky D carts, but they're ice cream carts, eh? So those are little, you know, these are little spoons that you get, wooden spoons for eating treats or samples. You know, you'll see them in uh, people standing in a supermarket. And, Would you like to try this? You know, and they've got a, a cup of these little wooden spoons that they're, they're giving you bites with. Oh, okay, well, you can go buy these yourself, right? Go buy a bag. So that's what they are. So I'm splitting them in half, and then I'm just rounding these tips just a bit. Like so, so that they're round. And then the one I cut in half. So I got two pieces, and then I mount those two at an angle a little bit and I put the other one that's solid on top. It's going to be my dragonflies. That's pretty easy to do. So you have to show or tell where you can get these either at a you know a grocery type people store that supplies restaurants or go to down to the 7-eleven and say hey can I have five of these? And the guy will look at you. Huh? No, no, unless you buy some ice cream. So you buy some ice cream and you grab five spoons or whatever. So that, that's that's the one thing. It's got to be materials that everybody has somewhat access to. Okay, so yes you can use star hard density foam because it is available in most places, you know. It will be called something different, but it is, it is available. You know, it will be different color. Uh, recyclable is the best, so that's the stipulation.
it's going to be the what it is I don't know size wise uh, probably one of these one foot square like this 